What's up guys, I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use a switch statement, so let's get started. Now a switch statement works like a nested if, but it works more efficiently and there's a lot less code to use, so I'll show you how that works. But let's first start off by declaring a variable, I'm going to use an integer data type, so we're going to type an int, I'm going to hit space, I'm going to call my variable red, I'm going to hit space, I want to make my variable equal to the integer value of 5, and then that way semicolon. Now we declared a variable, which I called red, and it has an integer value of 5. Now we're going to start the switch statement. To start the switch statement, we're going to type in S-W-I-T-C-H, right? Hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace, hit enter, and it should automatically add a closing curly brace if you're using Eclipse. If not, you have to add this closing curly brace. So this is a structure of a uh, switch statement here, right? So in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in the variable that we want to test. So we only have one variable and we called our variable red, so we're going to type in red here, right? So now we're going to do all of the uh, testing inside uh, this open and close curly brace. So the first thing we're going to need to do is type in case because uh, we're going to work with cases. Each uh, individual situation or the individual value we're testing for is a case. So we're going to type in case, hit space, we're going to type in the value that we want to test against. So just in case, let's say uh, red is equal to value 1, then we're going to uh, end it with a colon, right? Case uh, red is equal to 1, we're going to hit enter, then it's going to do something. So let's have it print something on the screen. You could have it do any type of statement. You can move around values, declare variables, any statement uh, you can do in here. So I'm going to use the system, so capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and it with a semicolon. Oops. And end it with a semicolon. In between the open and close parentheses, we're going to type in a set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, I'm going to type in, let's say, a color, red. So in case uh, the value of red is 1, it's going to type in red. So then after this, we can hit enter, then we're going to type in break, B-R-E-A-K, end it with a semicolon. What, what, what this is doing, uh, just in case uh, the value of red is 1, right, it'll do this here, it'll print red, then it'll, it'll go down to this break and break the switch statement. So let's uh, hit enter here, and let's add another one. So we're going to add another case here. Let's add case 2, right? So end it with a uh, colon. Now, now when you hit space, these are values you want to test against, right? It doesn't have to be 1 or 2. It could be 5, it could be 10, it could be, uh, it could be a string, right? It could be a string red in there. It could be any type of value you want to test against. So I'm just using 1 and 2 as an example, right? So case 2, then you have to end each uh, value you want to test with a colon, not a semicolon, a colon. Then we're going to hit enter. Then we, we want it to do something. Case the value of red is 2, right? Then we want it to do something. I'm going to have it print out something else on the screen. So we're going to use the capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, L, N, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon, and let's have it print out something else. And I'll use another color this time. Let's just try blue. So again, in between a set of double quotes, we're going to type in blue. So let's clean this up a little bit here. So now, case 1, right? In case the, the value of red is equal to 1, it's going to print out red. Then it's going to break, right? Then it's going to stop. It's going to stop uh, the, the switch here. But if in case it's not uh, 1, it's going to jump automatically to case 2. It's going to bypass all this and jump to case 2. Then if, if it's case 2, then it's going to do this. Then that, now we got to add another break under here. So let's hit enter. I'm going to type in uh, B-R-E-A-K and it with a semicolon. So it's going to add another break. So if uh, the value of red is 2, it'll print blue. Then it'll break the case. Then it'll go outside of this closing curly brace of the break and do whatever codes here. But let's add in a, one more case here. So I'm going to hit enter. Now let's add case, let's say 5 this time. Because our value of red is 5. And it with a colon, not a semicolon, right? Case 1, colon. Case 2, colon. Case 3, colon. That's not a semicolon. We're going to hit enter. Now in case the value of uh, red is 5, we want it to do something. So I'll have it print something else on the screen. So capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print. Ln 
open and close parentheses and with a semicolon. Uh, so we're going to print that green in, in between a set of double quotes here. So capital G R E E N. Again, you could do whatever you want. It's, you could add any statement you want. It doesn't have to be a system that out that print LN. You can have it uh, transfer value. You can have it uh, display a text box or display a dialog box. You could ask for input. Doesn't matter. Any statement will work. So now let's add the break here. Oops. Let's go back. Back here. So okay. Now let's let's hit enter and add the break. So in case the value of five is, uh, in case the value of red is five, then it's gonna print out green, then it's gonna break this switch statement, and then it's gonna break outside of the switch statement, outside of the, the closing curly brace, because this is the structure here. We typed in switch, hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace here, right? Then we ended the switch statement with the closing curly brace. All this in here were testing conditions. So it, once this break is initiated, it'll go outside this uh, closing curly brace and do whatever codes out here. So now we're gonna type in default. So we're gonna type in D-E-F-A-U-L-T, right? And end it with a colon, not a semicolon. So a default is like the else. If none of these uh, are true, then it'll go straight to the default and do whatever's in the default. So now we're gonna type in enter. Now we're gonna type in a statement. It could be any statement. I'm gonna type in the system dot out dot print ln and open and close parentheses and the way semicolon I'm gonna and uh, in between the open and close parentheses we're gonna have a set of double quotes because I'm gonna print something out on the screen so let's say uh, none so if none of these are true then it'll print out none and we don't have to uh, add a break after this because it'll automatically jump to this closing curly brace once it gets to this closing curly brace the the switch statements automatically gonna break itself then it's gonna do whatever codes under here so let's try it out let's hit play here it printed out green because our value of red is five and, and in our case of five here it's going to print out green let's change the value of red let's make red let's say one let's see what happens i'm gonna hit play now it printed out red because case the value of uh, red was one it'll print out red so let's try another one let's make uh, red uh two so let's hit play now it printed out blue case of two it should print out blue Let's try uh, none of these. Let's try, let's say 10, see what happens. So I'm gonna hit play and it printed out none because remember, if in case of none of these are true, then it's going to go straight to the default and, and it's gonna do whatever's in the default. And uh, in the default, I added a system.out.println and I printed out none on the screen. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmartTech.com and thanks for watching.